Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlotte, this is Big Girl Budgets and my channel is about cash stuffing, cash budgeting and getting on a debt free journey and getting my big girl pants on and getting on with it. So today it's just a quick one, just to explain a few things. I've had a little bit of a reallocate, so I've just moved things around a little bit. Um, I was just feeling after losing my emergency fund and not knowing quite what the future holds financially, um, I just felt like I needed to take for, from some of the envelopes that weren't important right now uh, and reallocate into my emergency fund. So I'm just going to go through a little bit about what's going on. Um, so in emergency fund, I still haven't updated these. Um, we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 pounds. Um, and that was a mixture of money from tax, van maintenance and van insurance. Van tax, we now have 40 pounds. I think I had 40 anyway, I can't remember. Um, van maintenance, we have 10. Sorry, this is going a bit. 10, 20, 30. So obviously we need to work on that. Van insurance, I think we still have 40. Yep. Yeah. And that's it for that binder. Um, I did pull from a month ahead. Very sadly, I just thought I can't justify getting a month ahead at the moment when there's other things that need to be looked at. Um, I also pulled from, where else did I go? I think it was just little bits from, so breakfast with friends I took out from, I've got like an add in to that at some point. Um, I didn't touch any of my digital savings. Okay, so that one, it was just breakfast with friends that I took out of. This one I took out of art. Oh, I took art out actually, I got rid of it because I'm not using it at the moment and I just don't like the fact that I keep looking at it. I put five pounds into clothes. Um, I think that was it in this one. School stayed the same. Yeah, so actually I got rid of an envelope and put that five pounds into clothes. Okay, in this binder, Um, Beauty stayed the same, Billy the Bilingo stayed the same, um, driving lessons I've taken out of, horse riding I took out of, I can't remember when, and I think that was it, the rest of these were empty. Um, and that was it, then I went into the holiday binder and I popped a bit extra in there, so there is now 25 in my holiday binder. That's just for accommodation. Um, I went into the birthday binder and I put in, I can't remember what was in there. I put in an extra fiver in there, so there's 20 pounds in there now for March, which is good. Um, <clears throat> we're not using that one. Into seasonal savings, I decided that the Easter holiday one wasn't really getting me anywhere. Um, so um, I just combined it into spring savings. So spring savings has left, still quite a bit actually, 25, 50, 75, 80 pounds left I need to get in there. But I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do it because I want to do it for the Easter holidays, which is like 10 days, so that's not going to happen. But so far I've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70 pounds for the Easter holidays, plus what's in the bank, which is 50. So that's good, but I wanted to get ahead so that I can, I would like to always be like one school holidays ahead, if that makes sense. So. The Easter holidays, the next one's coming up, but I would have liked to have been fully funded with that and already working on summer savings, um, summer summer savings, summer holidays. So I've put five pounds into the May school holidays and five, 10 pounds into the summer school holidays. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, still need to figure out exactly what I'm doing with this binder and I still want to remake it because I don't like the quality, but 
you know, it's functional, it's fine, it's not like I'm um, thinking of selling it or anything. Um, and then Christmas, I think I put an extra fiver in. So I put an extra fiver in um, and I think I did. No, I had a couple of pounds left over. So I put two pounds in. Um, yeah, so I can't remember exactly what I did actually, but I got two complete rows, started on the next row. Um, just put those coins in there. Um, and then the notes that we had changed the other day, um, I then put that straight into Oh, look, I put two fivers. Yeah, I can't remember what I did. <laughs> um, so now, towards Christmas, we have £30 in there plus 100 in the bank. Um, so, yeah, just keep going with that. That's a slow burner, really. Um, and that was it. Um, oh, that, the other thing I did was I emptied my 25 envelope challenge because it's not working for me, it's too slow. Um, that money is constantly tied up and I'm really relying on things like that at the moment. So I emptied it and that's also what funded um, the um, emergency for the changes in my um, high priority binder. That was what I put into some of the, um, the ring binder challenges over here. Um, and then I replaced um, challenge number six with autumn budgets, just gorgeous. Um, it's my, I love it. I really, really like this one. Um, so this one's going to be five pounds per item, which is something that I do, um, that I'm happy with doing in this binder because this is more like the slow savings binder. Um, got hair in here. <laughs> um, so I'm happy doing that. Um, where this binder, I'd rather do things like a pound, um, so yeah, um, we only have, in this binder now, we only have challenge number two, challenge number four, and challenge number six. So now that we are getting rid of some, it should get, we should get through this a bit quicker. Um, obviously in April, I will do it properly. I will fill all the envelopes and empty them when I've completed them and not replace them and see if we can get done in a month. But yeah, that's the changes that we have done. I have still got my savings book. Um, I just would like to carry on doing it. I should be able to do that from April onwards. Um, and that's it. So short and sweet, uh, but I will see you very soon for um, my next cash jobbing video and move it Monday. Okay, see you later guys. Bye.